Hey YouTube, it's Drunk Monk 74 here, and I am just bringing you uh, a little video. Um, it's not on a play style, it's not on a game mode, it's not on um, a map, weapon, or anything like that. This is a follow up of the recent announcement by EA that they're going to be um, uh, pulling this title from um, rotation. And um, when, I, when I heard that, I was absolutely gutted really gutted because I have loved this game Warfire I think is an absolutely fantastic game I think um, Danger Close deserves so much credit for what they've done with this game and how they've put it together under the circumstances they've had to put it together and what they've managed to pull out um, you know they've to be honest what I've read and what I've heard basically you know they've had so you know they've had the goalpost changed by the last minute, uh, thanks to EA getting involved. You know they've had their their head more or less um, sacked um, by EA, and uh, they, they've had the partnership program, and therefore a whole bunch of weapons that were in this game pulled out, and and this is all so close to release. You know, just when you're thinking, right, this is where we, this is where we put the final touches. This is where we put the polishing touches, and we we just get all the little things right. Um, all of a sudden, they've had to, you know, come up with a, a solution to the lack of weapons because partners, uh, the partnership program has has gone into into reverse gear thanks to EA. You know, they they've had to try and deal with the loss of their leader, um, a man who's basically been working on this title and previous titles, and, and and basically was design picking the direction that Medal of Honor was going in and how he want this particular game to go um, they, they had so much to deal with and you know they they did in under those circumstances with all of that in the background you know I, I, I don't understand how people can be uh, doing giving them anything but praise that you know they deserve so much praise for what they've managed to put together. Um, with all that said, you know, they, they, there's no doubt that when this game launched, it launched with some major issues, some real major issues. Um, just as just as uh, Bad Company 2 did, just as Battlefield 3 did, it's, it's launched with all the same issues, and it's and it's a crying, crying shame um, that that they did that again. And it, it probably didn't help, you know. If this game had launched and it didn't have those major glitches and bugs like VoIP not working, not being able to stay with your buddy, um, lag, you know, these are all issues that have plagued EA titles um, in in the recent past. And they, if they, but the problem was with this particular game was that it was so so unfairly treated, in my opinion, by um, critics and uh, professional reviewers that um, it needed a launch fairly flawlessly to be to have any chance of um, overturning the opinion that um, those critics had put into the minds of a lot of the a lot of consumers out there um, unfortunately it didn't it launched with a whole bunch of these bugs and it just did not help to uh, turn things around for them you know there is still a uh, uh, small but loyal you know a really loyal fan base for this game and they've you know we've all if you've been on the forums you you'll see that you know, there's there's players out there who who played this game since it launched and they defend this game more or less on, on a daily basis from people who want to come onto forums and you know mock them or laugh or you know just tell them you know how stupid they were for wasting their money on this game basically not being very constructive you know um and and of course people people get a little bit defensive about that this is it's just it's natural you know it's, it really is natural especially you know when the only reason i would play you know i've played this game since it launched and i haven't stopped and you don't you don't do that because you enjoy bugs or you enjoy glitches or you enjoy an unfinished product you you do that because what you're playing you can see has so much potential you play it you do it because what you're playing you enjoy so much and, and that was the thing with Warfire you, we, the enjoyment you got from this game was immense if you if you played it right if you played it in the spirit it was meant to be played in and um, you, could, you could find um, at the very least a buddy 
who you could rely on, if not um, a team or a platoon or, or a squad of you. If you could just find even a buddy, it made such a difference to this game, and it just highlighted again, you know, how effective they'd been in creating a game um, that requires, you know, that level of teamwork, that level of cooperation. Um, it, it was just so different. It's just so different from anything out there, you know. Um, you, you you play this game, and you see there there are still people out there who play this game like they they would want to play COD or something like that. You know, they still want to run round it with the fastest class you know like something like say like spec ops you know which was which has got smgs and stuff and they want to like scope up and fire really quick and they're basically just running around you know you, of course you still got players like that you know it's just it's just one of those things but the majority of the players um try and play this game how it's supposed to be played and um i i honestly think that's part of its downfall is that People could not adjust to the play style. They just wanted. They a lot of players out there, I reckon, have got one particular play style, uh, and that's how they want to play. Um, they they can't seem to adjust, or they don't want to adjust their play style to anything else. Um, and and fair enough if that's if that's what it is. That's what it is. You know, I, personally, I, I'm I'm I find it more enjoyable when I come across a game where you know it's not the same old thing. It's, it's not the same old play style I have to rethink how I'm playing uh, I have to rethink um, what I'm doing it just it just keeps it fresher it just keeps it more interesting um, but that's just me you know and and I, I honestly I honestly think you know Warfighter was that game I if and th my and as gutted as I was as gutted as I was to hear that it's been taken out of rotation part of me you know, I've I've still I've read other reports that you know they still haven't decided what they're going to do with the title. They're still thinking, you know, maybe they they'll do something again in a few years' time, but they're not going to discuss that at the present. They're still trying to decide what they're going to do with this title. Personally, I hope they um, they sell it, and they, and uh, another publishing house uh, gets it, and and they give it the respect and the time, and they dev devote the energy and they back whoever they ask. Whichever studio they are asked to develop it, I hope they back them a lot more than EA back DC. You know, um, I, I just, I just honestly think this game just was so, so let down by EA. It really was let down by EA, um, and it's, and it's a real shame because this game has such a, such a, a unique playstyle. It is so different, and there is such a loyal fan base out there for this game. Um, and and I think EA have let them down. That you know they've not only let down DC, but they've let down the customers, the people who have paid good money for this game. You know it's what it's January, January now or February. You know we're just into February. Literally just started February. So this game has been out what um, four four months or so, um, and uh, they, they've already announced um, that you know they're. It is being taken out of rotation. There's probably not going to be any more support for it. And and how what does that how does that leave the people who've uh, paid good money for this game? You know, who paid full price for it. You know, it, it doesn't leave them. It doesn't leave them with a very nice taste, does it? It doesn't it doesn't make them think. You know what? Well, actually, you know, I, I can't wait for EA's next title. Let's see what they can come up with next. You know. Basically, all, all I'm thinking is uh, I'm, I'm mortified at what they could come out with next and how they're going to mess it up and let people down. But that's just my opinion. Um, overall, though, I, I, I am gutted, but I am trying to look on the bright side. There's um, there's so 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 many good things about this game, and uh, I, just, I think people have underestimated it, have underrated it. Um, I don't think they understand what this game is trying to be fully. You know, the, the players out there who enjoy it, um, they're, they're loving it for a reason because it, it is so different from anything else that is out there. It's not another, it's not another sort of clone of COD. It's not trying to be like COD. It's 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 so so different. It's it's a totally different um, game from anything else that's been uh, out released recently, and uh, it's it makes it so refreshing to play. It, it really does. It makes it a real refreshing game, and it really does um, keep bringing you back. In my case, anyway, you know, I just keep 
every time I fire up my PlayStation, this is the game I want to be playing. This is the game I'm looking forward to uh, putting in that disc and uh, loading up and, and and getting hooking up with my platoon and um, having some fun. Anyway, that's my thoughts. That's what I think. That's how I feel. Um, I am honestly gutted for the game, and I, I really did wish. I really did hope they were going to be bringing out at least some sort of patches, server side or client side, to at least patch this game and and bring it up to a really good, nice, playable state. Um, I, I still have I still have hopes of that, but you know they've dwindled a lot. Let's put it that way. They uh, definitely dwindled since that announcement. But um, you know, who knows what's going to happen in a few years' time? Um, I, I hope Medal of Honor survives. I really do. I do think it's a great game. I, I think it's trying to do the right thing, um, and, and it's trying to be different. But um, anyway, that's me done. Uh, I, I I am out of here. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.